Welcome back to those of you who have been following, and welcome to my new viewers. The colors are rolling across the screen right now that I've used to do this painting. So if you want to try to follow along, remember it is a time lapse, paint fast. But, uh, just kidding. But anyway, uh, in case you want to try to, you know, paint along, pause, and, and resume, there's always that option. For those of you who have already watched part one, you already know that uh, I'm not actually painting upside down. My reference photo is upside down. So, now you know. The whole point of this is to train your mind to paint what you see because your mind plays tricks on you. And next thing you know, you'll be painting what you th think something should look like instead of what it actually looks like. So, uh, I mean, painting strawberries upside down, you can still tell they're strawberries. But when they're upside down, you're not trying to, to make them look like strawberries. Does that make any sense? It does to me. So, back to what you're seeing on the video. I'm using my liner brush to put in some highlights on that piece of wood. But, as you'll see coming up here, I kind of blur them out and do it again. Because there's spots on that wood where it's lighter and spots where it's darker. And then of course I'll go back with some dark paint, which I think that's what I'm doing right here, and uh, fill in those gaps. So it's a, it's a back and forth process. Again, I don't recommend drinking a lot of coffee before doing this because uh, when you have to make a straight line, it's, it's kind of hard. Here I'm putting on the highlights on the strawberries. Right now it doesn't look like much, but once you put in all the little details, it starts to come to life. I actually had a friend of mine who just saw the thumbnail and hadn't watched the video yet ask me if I was doing yoga paintings now because I was standing on my head 
Anyway, I'm like, uh, no, you didn't watch the video, did you? <laughs> she admitted she didn't. But uh, maybe there's a niche there. Who knows? Painting in all those little seeds on the strawberries. At first, you saw that big blotch of white on that big strawberry there in the middle. And you're thinking, oh my God, that's so white. Well, it's the reflection, and that's what color it is, because I'm painting what I see. Because I would have thought that the reflection would be more of a pinkish color or something. But if you paint what you see, you'll get what you pay. You'll see that in the end. things you learn when you paint. Apparently the seeds on the strawberries, the little dots that you see, those are seeds. And uh, they're practically in rows and they're evenly spaced. Imagine that. So the next time I go to paint a strawberry, I'll remember this and paint it accordingly. I just want to add that uh, studio lighting is important because with this video all I had was my overhead light on so once the painting was finished I brought it into another room and I didn't realize how dark everything was on this painting until I brought it into the other room and now if you have light on it it looks great but from a distance with dim lighting you can barely see the strawberry in the background but studio lighting is important
and again, please excuse the back of my head. I think I'm going to experiment with different camera angles and see if I can't find, come up with something that's a little more compatible. Here you see me using a, a larger paintbrush to steady my hand because uh, after further review, I had my hand sitting on the, the, the brown wood there and uh, was getting paint on my hand. And I had to go back and fix that spot on the painting as well. The strawberries are coming along nicely. They're actually starting to look like strawberries, even though they're still upside down. Almost all of my paintings that I've done so far have been landscapes, a few portraits, and this is, I'd say, my first real still life. Even though it's not a real still life, it was from a photo, but it's still a still life. I just wanted to mention that uh, I am on Instagram, so you can go back and see just about everything I've painted since my painting journey began. I've only been painting for a few years, but I've learned quite a bit in a short period of time. My mind has been like a sponge. I'm also on Facebook if you want to look me up there. And I do have a website. However, it's kind of under construction. I need to get some better photos of my art to redo my uh, website. I'm thinking after the first of the year, I'll uh, get that up and running again. I'd like to take a moment to thank all those who are following me 
and uh, I truly hope that you're getting something out of these videos. If nothing else, I'm getting a lot of paintings out of them. But uh, thank you so much for following me, seriously, because I need all the followers I can get, all the watch hours I can get. I'm hoping to be monetized by this time next year, and uh, maybe it could be an early retirement, but I'd have more time to paint. That'd be great. Anyway, here's the finished product. When you turn it right side up, it all makes perfect sense. Now, of course, like I said, if I had done this in better lighting, and here's the reference photo I used. I'll zoom out in just a second to show you. But, uh, yeah. Tell me what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. I'd appreciate it and share it. Anybody who's interested in painting, just share it, share it, share it. Anyway, here I am signing it, which always seems to be a chore. Can't get my signature to look good. That's a whole other video. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Come back next week. We'll be painting something different. I think it's going to be a landscape this time. <laughs>